The Shakespeare Theatre Company is a regional theatre company located in Washington, D.C. The theatre company focuses primarily on plays from the Shakespeare canon, but its seasons include works by other classic playwrights such as Euripides, Ibsen, Wilde, Shaw, Schiller, Coward and Tennessee Williams. The company manages and performs in the Harmon Center for the Arts, consisting of the Landsborough Theatre and Sydney Harmon Hall. In cooperation with George Washington University, they run the Academy for Classical Acting. The company is a member of the League of Resident Theatres. History The Folger Shakespeare Library on Capitol Hill includes a replica of an Elizabethan theatre, originally used for lectures and tours. In 1970 this space was transformed into a functioning playhouse, and soon Folger Theatre Group later the Folger Theater was organized to perform in the space. After years of discussion, Amherst College, administering body of the Folger Shakespeare Library, in 1986 withdrew financial support for the company. To save the company, concerned citizens led by R. Robert Linos reincorporated it as the non-profit Shakespeare Theatre at the Folger, later hiring Michael Kahn as artistic director. The company continued to perform at the Folger for the next six years, changing its name to the Shakespeare Theatre. The troupe moved in 1992 to the Landsborough Theatre, a newly built space in the original Landsborough's department store building in the Penn Quarter. At the start of the 2005 6 season, it adopted the current name, Shakespeare Theatre Company. The company constructed another theatre, Sydney Harmon Hall, which opened in 2007 in the lower part of an office building in the quarter, and the two theatres were joined to become the Harmon Centre for the Arts. Meanwhile, after initially importing travelling shows from the Shenandoah Shakespeare Express, the Folger Shakespeare Library developed a new Folger Theatre Company to present plays in its Elizabethan replica. Facilities <laughs> <laughs> The Shakespeare Theatre Company has two current performance venues. The newer and larger Sydney Harmon Hall occupies the lower half of an 11-story office tower. The exterior is distinguished by a glass facade curtain wall on a projected bay window. The 774-seat performance space can be configured as a proscenium, thrust, semi-arena, corridor or bare stage. The smaller Landsborough Theatre is in the restored former Landsborough's department store flagship store, originally built in 1882. The performance space is 451-seat classic proscenium stage. The seating arrangement is reminiscent of a Greek amphitheatre. It has been described as, "...an intimate space for dramatic theatre, ensemble music and dance." In the past the company has performed shows at the Terrace Theatre in the Kennedy Center. In addition to its performance spaces, the company maintains administrative offices, rehearsal studios, and a costume shop in the Capitol Hill neighborhood. A set construction and painting shop is near Catholic University in Northeast D.C. Finally a stage properties shop for the construction and storage of furniture, decorative items, hand props and a variety of set dressing items is located just outside DC on the northeast side of the city. Topic: Theatrical focus. The Shakespeare Theatre Company's self-professed mission is less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 to present classic theater of scope and size in an imaginative skillful and accessible american style that honors the playwright's language and intentions while viewing their work through a 21st century lens their vision is to endeavor to be an important resource to an expanded national and international community as the nation's premier destination for classic theatre, as a training ground for the next generation of theatre artists and as a model provider of high-quality educational content for students and scholars. Artistic directors Richmond Crinkley while Folger Theatre Group Louis W. Sheeda 1973 to 1980 while Folger Theatre Group 
John Neville Andrews (1980–1986) name changed to Folger Theatre, then Shakespeare Theatre at the Folger. Michael Kahn (1986–2019) while Shakespeare Theatre at the Folger, then Shakespeare Theatre Company. Simon Godwin (2019). Topic: <laughs> Current and recent productions. Resident Theatre Company pioneer Zelda Fitchhandler has stated that for resident theatre companies, "...repertory is destiny." A theatre company acquires its audience by the productions it presents. Most of the Shakespeare Theatre Company's productions are from the Bard's canon. However each year up to half of the productions are classical works by other authors. The oldest has been Aeschylus's The Persians, the oldest surviving play in the history of theatre. The youngest plays include works by Tennessee Williams, Camino Real, Sweet Bird of Youth, and Harold Pinter, Old Times. The company has also produced modern interpretations of classical texts such as Mary Zimmerman's Argonautica, adapted from The Voyage of Jason and the Argonauts. 2017-2018 season. Fully staged productions The Lover and the Collection by Harold Pinter. Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. Hamlet, by William Shakespeare Noura, by Heather Raffo Camelot, book and lyrics by Alan J. Lerner and music by Frederick Lowe Shakespeare Theatre Company Presentation, Waiting for Godot, by Samuel Beckett, created and presented by Druid 2016-2017 season Fully staged productions, Romeo and Juliet, by William Shakespeare the Secret Garden, by Marcia Norman and Lucy Simon and based on the novel by Frances Hodgson Burnett Charles III, by Mike Bartlett Macbeth, by William Shakespeare The School for Lies, adapted by David Ives and based on a play by Molly Shakespeare Theatre Company presentation, The Select The Sun Also Rises, based on a novel by Ernest Hemingway, adapted and presented by Elevator Repair Service Notable guest artists In addition to its troupe of regular and frequently appearing actors, the Shakespeare Theatre Company invites guest performers and directors each season. Jane Alexander – Ghosts – Mrs. Alving Elizabeth Ashley – Mrs. Warren's Profession – Mrs. Warren, The Little Foxes – Regina Michael Attenborough – Director – As You Like It René Aubergenois – The Imaginary Invalid – Argon Keith Baxter, actor Measure for Measure, Duke Vincentio, Henry IV, Parts 1 and 2, Henry IV, Merchant of Venice, Antonio, director, Lady Windermere's Fan, The Imaginary Invalid, The Rivals, The Country Wife, Henry IV, Part 1, Mrs. Warren's Profession, An Ideal Husband, The Importance of Being Earnest, Andre Braffa, Othello, Iago, Avery Brooks, Othello, Othello, The Oedipus Plays, Oedipus, Tamburlaine, Tamburlaine. Ron Canada, Othello, Iago. Dixie Carter, Lady Windermere's fan, Mrs. Erlen. Jeffrey Carlson, Hamlet, Hamlet. Pat Carroll, Romeo and Juliet, Nurse, The Merry Wives of Windsor, Falstaff, Mother Courage and Her Children, Mother Courage, Volpone, Volpone. Gail Edwards, Director, Edward II, Titus Andronicus, Richard III, Hamlet. Harry Hamlin, Henry V, Henry V. Hal Holbrook, Merchant of Venice, Shylock. Tom Hulce, Hamlet, Hamlet. Stacy Keach, Richard the Third, Richard, King Lear, Lear, Henry the Fourth, Parts One and Two, Falstaff. Sabrina Lebeau, Love's Labor's Lost, Rosalind, The Taming of the Shrew, Catherine. Marsha Mason, All's Well That Ends Well, Countess of Rusillon. Kelly McGillis, Merchant of Venice, Portia, Twelfth Night, Viola, Morning Becomes Electra, Lavinia, Macbeth, Lady Macbeth, The Duchess of Malfi, Duchess, As You Like It, Rosalind, Measure for Measure, Isabella, All's Well That Ends Well, Helena, Much Ado About Nothing, Beatrice, Ethan McSweeney, Director, Major Barbara, The Persians, Ion, The Merchant of Venice, A Midsummer Night's Dream, The Tempest. Patrick Page, Othello, Iago, Macbeth, Macbeth, Coriolanus, Coriolanus. Sean Phillips, The Importance of Being Earnest, Lady Bracknell. Richard Schiff, Huey, Eerie Smith. Jean Stapleton, Romeo and Juliet, Nurse. 
Patrick Stewart, Othello, Othello. Rebecca Teichman, director, The Taming of the Shrew, Twelfth Night, Cymbeline, The Winter's Tale. Richard Thomas, Richard II, Richard. Paul Winfield, Merry Wives of Windsor, Falstaff. Hannah Yelland, The Winter's Tale, Hermione. Mary Zimmerman, director, Pericles, Argonautica, Condide. Topic: <laughs> Commissioned works. The Shakespeare Theatre Company commissioned playwright David Ives to translate, translate and adapt a series of rediscovered European comedy masterpieces as follows: The Liar by Pierre Corneille, The Heir Apparent by Jean-François Regnard, The Metromaniacs by Alexis Payan, School for Lies based on Molière's The Misanthrope, The Panties, The Partner and the Prophet, inspired by The Underpants, The Snob, 1913, and The Fossil. By Carl Sternheimel plays featured Ives's rhyming word play and were directed by Michael Kahn. The Liar subsequently opened off Broadway, again directed by Michael Kahn. Topic: Notable events. Topic: Black Iago in Othello. In 1990 artistic director Michael Kahn and black director Harold Scott cast black actors as Iago and Amelia, the trusted ensign who incites the Moor's fatal jealousy and his wife. With Avery Brooks as Othello, Andre Braffra as Iago and Franchel Stewart Dawn as Amelia, the resulting production was critically acclaimed. <laughs> Race reversed Othello In 1997 the Shakespeare Theatre Company produced an Othello in which Othello was white with an all-black cast. Actor Patrick Stewart approached artistic director Michael Kahn with the concept, "'I've been imagining myself playing Othello and, in a sense, preparing for it, since I was about 14. When the time came that I was old enough and experienced enough to do it, it was the same time that it no longer became acceptable for a white actor to put on blackface and pretend to be African. One of my hopes for this production is that it will continue to say what a conventional production of Othello would say about racism and prejudice. To replace the black outsider with a white man in a black society will, I hope, encourage a much broader view of the fundamentals of racism." Ron Canada performed the part of Iago. During the Meet the Cast event before the production Stewart remarked that he realized that while he had never performed this role, all of the principal male actors in the cast had, and he would learn from them. The Oedipus plays at the Athens Festival After seeing the Shakespeare Theatre Company's production of the Oedipus plays in September 2001, officials from the Greek Embassy in Washington arranged for an invitation to the company to perform it as part of the 2003 Athens Festival. The show was a single evening adaption by Michael Kahn of Sophocles' three plays Oedipus Rex, Oedipus at Colonus and Antigone. He changed the setting from Greece to Central Africa, and used an all-black cast headed by Avery Brooks. The performance was on 10–11 September 2003 in the semicircular 5,000-seat Odeon Theatre on the south slope of the Acropolis. As an historical footnote, the original production had just opened the week before the September 11 attacks. After a single performance cancellation that night, the show went on the next night with a new meaning for cast and audience. The second Athens performance was two years to the day after the attack. <laughs> Love's labours lost at the Royal Shakespeare Company's Complete Works Festival The Shakespeare Theatre Company took its production of Love's Labour's Lost to England to participate in the Royal Shakespeare Company's Complete Works Festival. Performances were from 17 to 26 August 2006 in the Swan Theatre in Stratford-upon-Avon. <laughs> Shakespeare in Washington Festival 
From January through June 2007 the Shakespeare Theatre Co. hosted the International Shakespeare in Washington Festival. This celebration was conceived by Michael Kaiser, president of the Kennedy Center, and was curated by Michael Kahn. Over 60 arts organizations produced over 100 presentations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Opening of Sydney Harmon Hall. On 1 October 2007, Sydney Harmon Hall opened with a gala performance emceed by Sam Waterston and featuring ballet dancers Nina Ananiashvili and Julio Boca, jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra with Wynton Marsalis, actress Patti Lupone, violinist Anne Sophie Mutter, the Washington Ballet, Washington Performing Arts Societies WPAS, men and women of the Gospel Mass Choir and actors from the Shakespeare Theatre Company. Topic: Special performances of the Great Game, Afghanistan. At the request of U.S. Department of Defense officials and with support funding from private sources, the Shakespeare Theatre Company donated Harmon Hall and provided logistical support for two all-day special performances of the full cycle of the Great Game, Afghanistan. The 10 to 11 February 2011 performances were offered free to soldiers, wounded veterans and government officials in the Washington D.C. area. Topic: <laughs> Awards. The Shakespeare Theatre Company both presents and receives awards. Annually it presents the Will Award and the Emery Battis Award. Additionally it regularly receives awards for its productions. The Will Award The William Shakespeare Award for Classical Theatre has been presented by the Shakespeare Theatre Company since 1988. The Will Award is an annual honor to recognize an artist who has made a significant contribution to classical theatre in America. Since at least 2008 the award ceremony has been held under the patronage of the British Ambassador and his wife. Recipients The Emery Battis Awards The Emery Battis Award for Acting Excellence is presented annually at the first opening night of the new season to recognize two actors whose work in a mainstage production demonstrates outstanding classical technique. The award is funded by an anonymous donor and includes a cash prize. It is named for the long-time and beloved Shakespeare Theatre Company actor Emery Battis. Award recipients include Received awards Over the past 29 years, the Shakespeare Theatre Company has won over 80 Helen Hayes Awards for producing, acting, directing, and design achievements. 2012, the Shakespeare Theatre Company in Washington, D.C., received the Tony Award for Regional Theatre. Press notices 2017, The Washington Post said, "...the quality of its seasons has taken a hit over the past several years," and, "...where once it regularly ventured into daring terrain less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 it is making a conscious choice to lead from behind." 2007, The New York Times said, The Shakespeare Theatre has a repertory of classics that no New York theatre of similar size and scale can match." 2001, the Christian Science Monitor printed, The Shakespeare Theatre, the best classical theatre in the country, bar none. 1999, The Economist named the Shakespeare Theatre Company as one of the "...world's three great Shakespearean theatres." Other activities Topic: <laughs> Free for All In 1991, the Shakespeare Theatre Company began its annual Free for All productions at the Carter Baron Amphitheatre in DC's Rock Creek Park. 
Each summer the company remounts a production from the previous season. Until 2009, these productions were held at the Outdoor Amphitheatre in Rock Creek Park. However, in 2009 the company moved the free performances downtown and indoors for a complete list of the productions see Shakespeare Theatre Company Free for All. Rediscovery series Works for the Rediscovery series are chosen by artistic director Michael Kahn and presented under the direction of Shakespeare Theatre artistic staff. Guest artists join members of the Shakespeare Theatre Company and the Washington theatrical community to investigate these great but lesser known plays of world literature. The readings occur at the Landsborough on at least three Mondays throughout the year and are hosted by company member Ted Van Grieteisen. Guest scholars, translators and adapters involved with the evening's reading also frequently participate in the rehearsal, performance and occasional post-performance discussion when time permits. Topic Academy for Classical Acting The Shakespeare Theatre Company and George Washington University offer a one-year intensive graduate program leading to a Master of Fine Arts degree. The curriculum focuses on the specific craft of acting Shakespeare and other classical texts. George Washington University provides accreditation for an MFA degree, resources and strong links to the Folger Shakespeare Library and the Library of Congress. The program has graduated over 100 actors who are now performing on stages in New York, Washington, D.C. and across the country. <laughs> <laughs> National Theatre Live The National Theatre Great Britain broadcasts live via satellite, performances of their productions to movie theatres, cinemas and arts centres around the world. Each showing is performed live in London, filmed in high definition and presented on a large screen in Sydney Harmon Hall. See also Helen Hayes Award Shakespeare Theatre Company Free for All Theatre in Washington, D.C.